Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tales from Tech Support, where we get to have a little chuckle at the technically disadvantaged. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey, how do you turn this thing on again? What is your password? Hello there. I had a hilarious encounter today that ended up sounding like a run of who's on first. Someone calls that they cannot get into their specific web application. They tried entering the password, it did not work. They tried resetting it, it still did not work. We fire up a screen share session and I see that they're entering the password in the correct place and it's not working. No caps lock. Why don't you tell me your password so that I can enter it? What? The password. Correct. The password is correct? No, what? The password. What? What is the password? Correct. No, tell me the password. What? The password. W-H-A-T what? The password is the word what? Correct. Well, I'm glad your last name isn't who. It was amazing. When TVs don't work and users forget how to read. Ah yes, another day on the job as a T1 tech support at an Eastern European telco. Freshly out of training, but already jaded by older clients' inability to unplug a router. Today I discovered another client disability. Client. Hello, my TV isn't working. A few moments follow of me finding their contract in the database and checking what kind of TV they have. In my mind I say, ah, satellite, this should be easy. It wasn't easy. Me. It snowed heavily last night. Did you clean the satellite dish of snow? Client. Yes, of course. I told my husband to pour a bowl of hot water on it. It's clean now. Me. Okay, I guess that works. Look at the back of the receiver. There's a white cable there. Please take it out and plug it back in. Client. The signal cable, right? Just a moment. Okay, it's back in. Me. Alright, can you turn on the TV and tell me what error message you're getting? Client. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Me. Turn on the TV and the receiver. Client. Okay, but it doesn't work. There's no signal. Me. I know, ma'am. Can you read me what it says on the screen, please? Client. What? Me. Mildly annoyed. On the TV, ma'am. It says something. Please read it. Client. I don't know what to read. Me. In the middle of the screen. Read the text in the middle of the screen. Client. What? Me. Incredibly annoyed. Read, ma'am. Read. Client. I can't. I don't know technology. At this point, I pretend to do some background checks and put her on hold. I go to the TV we have continuously running in the middle of the call center, look at the back of the receiver, and yank the satellite cable out. Bingo! In the middle of the screen it says clearly, no signal, please plug in the satellite cable, error 2, in a big and very readable font. I then play a bit with the coax cable and intentionally make it have a very weak signal and plug it in. I get looks from my coworkers who curiously watch me mess angrily with the TV. Signal is fluctuating. Please check satellite dish and cable. Error 15. Alright, that's all I need. Back to the client. Me. Thank you for your patience. On the TV, there is a box in the middle of the screen, right? Client. Yes. Me. Perfect. And inside it, there should be a few words and a number, right? Client. Yes, there are. Me. Can you read them for me? Client. I don't know how. I don't understand. You don't need to understand what it says, just tell me the freaking error message. Anyway, I knew this would happen. Me. Ma'am, what is the number at the end? A2 or A15? Client, weirdly enthusiastic. 15! It says 15! Hallelujah, got the error code. Me. Alright, thank you. We will need to send a team to check the satellite dish. Is tomorrow 2pm alright? Client. Yes, thank you very much. I say the required formalities and wait for the call to end. Click. Very annoyed, I finish the ticket and try to relax a bit. My choice of leisure activity? Repairing that coax cable I just destroyed. Somehow that brings me a lot of pleasure. Under the stares of my boss and laughing co-worker that kept quoting, Read, ma'am, read! God dang it, end users. At least your password meets the complexity requirements. I'll leave out the boring backstory, but the basic idea is that it was all hands on deck for a parent company enforced after hour software upgrade to all PCs and laptops in the building. All IT staff had to assist, from the lowliest tech up to me, our cape wearing hero. Users were instructed to leave their passwords on a sticky next to their systems, otherwise we'd change them to something horrific. We have a guy, let's call him the GIMP, 
who lives for this. I'm poised at the door of the office of Bill, who is a nice enough fellow, but also one of those users who seems to have a lot of trouble, mostly through fault of his own. But generally a decent guy and not outwardly rude to IT staff. Bill is packing up. Me. Hey, is it okay if I upgrade your system? You finished for the day? Bill. Sure, I'm leaving. Me. Is your password written down? Bill. Silence. Me. Bill? I need your password. Bill. I'm already logged in. Me. I'll have to reboot as part of the process. Bill. Well, this is a bit awkward. Me. Picking up that he's somehow ashamed of his password. Hey, I've seen all sorts of passwords. No worries. If you'd rather I just change it, I will. Bill. No, it's okay. He writes something on a post-it and leaves. Me. Looks at post-it. Post-it reads, All IT people must die, star one. The GIMP changes it to something horrific. Epilogue. Bill informs me this AM that it took him 10 minutes to get logged in and another 10 minutes to change his password, which is now allegedly, all IT people must die star 2. The mouse was working. Another story from my time as a cash register repairman back in the late 80s. We had one customer, a large market, that had a problem with one of their cash registers coming up short with regularity, usually in multiples of $20. The first few times they just disciplined the cashier, but eventually they figured out that it was happening to every cashier on that register. So they called me in to see if I could figure out what the problem was. So I get there and run the reports, do a few test transactions, etc. Everything's fine. So then I get down under the counter to check the network connections, and there I find it. Wedged in between the register stand and the counter is a price gun holster. And in that is the most expensive mouse nest I've ever seen. This mouse had been sneaking up the cable run to the till. The hole it went in was just large enough for the cable and a small mouse to fit through and was located directly above the 20s tray. Going back through the register reports, there had to be on the order of $300 worth of torn up 20s lining that nest. I put some aluminum tape over the hole and fished out the mouse nest and handed it over to the store manager. Amazingly, he took it to the bank to get them exchanged. Apparently, this is something the Federal Reserve will do for folks. Fortunately, nobody got fired over this event, and those who had been disciplined got apologies. Got to love family-owned businesses. A person needs an antenna for a cell phone. I worked in tech support at an electronics store. A customer came in and was clearly in a hurry. I need an antenna for a cell phone, he said firmly. Me, I'll do my best to help you. What's the problem you're having? Customer, don't give me that crap. I just need an antenna. Me. Okay, there are many types of antennas for TVs, routers, and other devices, but we don't have anything for cell phones. Customer. Where can I get one? In my head. The 90s? Me out loud. What kind of phone is it? Maybe I can look it up for you. Customer. Stop wasting my time and just give me an antenna. Me. Stares blankly trying to figure out what to say next. The customer leaves saying, I want to talk to a manager. I go into the back and work on other computers and radio the manager to let him know a customer is looking for him. I can hear the customer trying to explain what he wants to the manager. The manager comes to the tech bench. Manager, I need your help. Me walks back to the front. Customer, eyes flex. Manager, I'm sorry you had a bad experience with us. This is OP. He's our best tech and I'm sure he'll be able to figure out the best solution to your problem. Manager, pats me on the back and walks away. Customer, becomes Superman and tries to kill me with his laser eyes. Me, half smiles and shrugs shoulders. Customer, walks out muttering, I'm going too. Alright everyone, I hope you're having a great day and that you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And keep a lookout for more of these little gems from Reddit. So long!